in the earlier session having understood the meaning of utility and the differentiation between total utility and marginal utility let's come to the law of diminishing marginal utility diminishing refers to decreasing marginal refers to additional to understand this law let's take the example of the same table that we saw in the earlier session so we have taken chocolate as an example the consumption of six units of chocolates giving you various total and marginal utility total utility with one unit being 12 and ultimately with six units it ends up with 22 utils of satisfaction marginal utility with the first unit is 12 utils later declines to six then with the third unit it becomes four then the fourth unit gives you only two utils of satisfaction the fifth unit you're not enjoying your chocolate anymore and with the sixth unit you actually have a distaste a problem now this is a marginal utility table now what are you seeing here is when you continuously consume any commodity however favorite it may be for you beyond a certain point you start experiencing disutility you have to stop the consumption that is exactly what the law explains the law of diminishing marginal utility as you continuously consume a commodity or serve the additional satisfaction derived with each unit goes on diminishing let's plot these values in the diagram first unit of chocolate this is quantity of units this is utility for easier understanding I am plotting only the marginal utility values first unit would give you 12 utils of satisfaction second unit you would end up with six the third unit would be four and the fourth unit is at two and the fifth unit is zero and the sixth unit here you go negative so therefore we understand that if you continuously consume a certain commodity after a certain point the satisfaction or utility turns negative having understood the law of diminishing marginal utility let's proceed to understand how the law of diminishing marginal utility is applied in the derivation of a demand curve we shall proceed for that session now let's try to understand how to derive a demand curve through the law of diminishing marginal utility for convenience as written as LDMU law of diminishing marginal utility now what exactly is demand demand in economics specific meaning which at first demand does not simply mean desire to possess a commodity in economics your desire should be supported or backed by the ability to pay for it and the willingness to pay for it mere desire to have a car does not constitute demand in economics if I desire to buy a car I should have the ability to pay for it not only the ability to pay for it the willingness to pay for it for example I may have the desire to buy a car I may also have the ability to pay for a car but I may not be willing to pay say 50 lakh rupees for a car so only when these three combine you have demand in economics therefore we have to understand further the law of demand the numerous factors influence the demand for a certain commodity now of all those factors price is very very important law of demand explains the relation between the price of a commodity and the demand for the commodity the law of demand states that when the price when the price of the commodity increases the demand for the commodity decreases and when the price decreases the demand increases I repeat when the price of the commodity increases the demand for the commodity decreases and when the price decreases the demand increases this 
is the law of demand. The law of demand states that there is an inverse or a negative relation between price and demand for a commodity. How this is, is explained by the law of diminishing marginal utility. Let's try to see how the demand curve is derived from the concept of law of diminishing marginal utility. Let's have a look at this diagram. As we have seen earlier, on the y-axis you have utility, let's assume marginal utility and the quantity of units. As we see here, the first unit gives a high levels of utility at 14, the second unit gives 10, the third unit at 8 and fourth unit at 4 and fifth unit around 3 and it progressively goes. So we understand that the marginal is on diminishing and at the seventh may touch zero. This is a utility curve which is explained by the diminishing marginal utility, an increase in quantity of consumption results in decreasing marginal utility. We earlier stated that the law of demand is a relation between price and demand where when the price is high the demand is less and when the price is less demand is high. Let's replace utility and price here. It states that when the price is 14, for example, one unit is being consumed, demanded. When the price falls to 12, the demand increases. At the price of 8, the unit consumed is 3. At the price of 6, it's 4, and so on and so forth. Indicating that when the price is high, the individual consumer is willing to buy only less quantity because when the commodity consumed is less, the utility will be high. And when the utility is high, he is willing to pay higher price. Now, as the price declines, he buys more because he understands that the larger the consumption, the lesser the utility. When the utility is declining, the consumer is unwilling to pay a higher price. Therefore, buys a larger quantity only if the price also falls. So that why does the demand increases when the price falls is because when the consumption increases the utility declines therefore the consumer is not willing to pay a higher price when he knows the utility is declining thus the law of diminishing marginal utility explains the derivation of the demand curve thus in this session we discussed about the concept of utility the types of utility, the approach to the study of utility, namely ordinal and cardinal approach, and a very important concept called the law of diminishing marginal utility. And essentially, the application of law of diminishing marginal utility in the derivation of the demand curve is an important area to understand. Having finished a discussion on this, we shall next go to the ordinal approach to utility, the ordinal theory to consumer behavior.